Hello, I'm Sarah, a children's anaesthetic doctor here at the Royal London Hospital. At Bart's Health, we recognise that your child undergoing a general anaesthetic can be a stressful time. And I'm here today to walk you through the anaesthetic, so you know what to expect for you and your child. After you arrive at our Children's Day unit, an anaesthetist will come to talk to you about your child's anaesthetic. They will want to know about your child's medical history and they will talk to you about the best way to anaesthetise your child safely. They may also discuss the sedating pre-medication if your child is especially anxious or has certain medical conditions. Once you arrive in the anaesthetic room, your child can either sit on the trolley or on your lap, depending on how old they are and their level of anxiety. We will then perform our safety checks with you before we start the anaesthetic. A gas induction means your child will breathe a mixture of anaesthetic gases through a mask to go off to sleep. If you're holding them on your lap, it is important that you hold them in the correct way. You must have the child across your lap with a nice tight cuddle that goes around their arms. This is to make them feel safe and to stop them from forcibly removing the mask. They may wriggle and cry as the gases can smell unfamiliar. This is nothing to worry about and they won't remember it when they wake up. They will become very floppy when they are asleep, so it's important to follow the doctor's instructions. Together with the doctor, you will help to move your child onto the bed. They may have a little wriggle at this point. Again, this is completely normal. At this stage, you may want to give your child a kiss and a nurse will accompany you back to the ward. It is important that you leave when prompted so we can take the best possible care of your child. In general, this type of induction is better for small children as it does not require the insertion of a cannula while your child is awake and it is quicker. In older children, it may take longer for the child to go off to sleep using the gases. If your child is having an intravenous induction, it means they're going off to sleep using some medicine given through a cannula. This is a small plastic tube which is inserted into the hand or the arm. If this is planned, the nurse on the ward will apply some numbing cream to your child's hand or arm before they come to theatre. It is important that you hold your child appropriately for the cannula insertion. They need to be facing you and cuddling you with their arms under yours. For older children, the cannula may be inserted while they are sitting or lying on the bed. When the cannula is inserted, they may feel something, but because of the cream, they should not feel any pain. Even with distraction techniques, some children may still find this distressing. Once the medicine is injected, your child will fall asleep very quickly. At this point, we will ask you to help lift them onto the bed. Give them a kiss if you wish to, and the nurse will then accompany you back to the ward. Our choices as to the type of anaesthetic induction are always made in discussion with you, the parents and carers. We will work with you to provide the best possible care for your child. We will always involve you when deciding what type of induction to use for your child, but ultimately the decision will be made by your anaesthetist and the expertise that they have to provide the best possible care for your child. It is important that you realise that despite all our efforts, distraction techniques and methods to help preoperatively, some children will still find the anaesthetic experience distressing. When you next see your child, they will be in the recovery room. You should expect them to be tired and perhaps a little bit grumpy. They may feel sick or have a sore throat, which is completely normal and we can treat this if necessary. Once the recovery nurses are happy, your child will leave recovery and return to a post-operative ward. I hope this video has helped you to understand what to expect on the day of your child's procedure. Your child's safety is paramount to us. We will do everything we can to ensure that their experience and surgical outcome is nothing but a positive one. Once again, welcome to the Royal London Hospital and thank you for watching.